perfect opportunity to mow the lawn. Alexa, have you come mow and sweep the front yard? Start working. Meet Yuka, the 3D vision robot lawn sweeping mower. You may be wondering, how does Yuka mow the lawn? Yuka can cut grass faster with dual cutting discs. Forget about sweeping. Yuka sweeps leaves and debris as it mows. And when all filled up, it automatically empties itself. Is Yuka easy to set up? Just walk with Yuka around your yard. Using 3D vision mapping and enhanced RTK, Yuka can create wire-free virtual boundaries. Is Yuka smart? Using an advanced stereo vision system and a rear view camera, Yuka can see its surroundings. AI deep learning allows it to identify just about anything and avoid obstacles in its way. It can even mow in GPS blind spots. Can Yuka be customized? Control Yuka from anywhere, exactly the way you want. Set where and when you want to mow, and no-go zones. Then let Yuka handle the rest. For those special occasions, express yourself through creative lawn printing. How does Yuka mow the perfect lawn? Yuka automatically adjusts cutting height for a carpet-like lawn. And it can even climb hard to reach places. What else can Yuka do? A lot more. Rest easy when you're away. Yuka keeps a watchful eye on your property. Effortlessly track its location with anti-theft protection. Yuka is waterproof and can detect rain. When it's out of power, it automatically returns home to charge. RTK is even easier to install. So, do you want to spend your weekend doing this? Or enjoy doing the things you love most? Okay, well, I mean, it's a cool concept, but I was in Norway last summer and we noticed walking around, my wife and I, um, that a lot of yards had automated mowers. They had things that looked pretty similar to this, uh, or like you know a Roomba on steroids, driving around on the lawns and doing the automated mowing. So I'm not sure exactly what's different about this one that you know it needs its own Kickstarter. I don't know if the sweep feature is what's different because I did notice that the ones in Norway that I was seeing there didn't have collection bags. Uh, so I was trimming the grass, but kind of leaving the trimmings behind, but that doesn't seem like something that um, they couldn't add fairly easily. I also noticed the ones in Norway, um, they could climb hills, that wasn't a problem, but they had a hard time going around stuff. Um, meaning it, it, would, it wouldn't run into things, but it wouldn't trim very closely next to objects that were unusual sizes or like a tree where the roots come down in sort of an uneven pattern. It couldn't really handle that. So I don't know if this one is gonna be better than that or that's gonna be a limitation of almost any automated mower that it's just not gonna be able to handle those unusual angles or figure out how to get into a, a triangular shaped space where it would have to kind of come in a few different ways to get the whole thing cut, or just because of the design, it's not gonna be able to cut as closely. I mean, but in general, I think it's a good idea. I think the concept has already been proven. There's already automated mowers out there. Um, so I guess the challenge for these guys is just gonna be getting um, some attention versus the existing competition and differentiate themselves for what is unique about this product and maybe it is just the picking up the stuff in the back or something else about it I missed that the current ones don't do as well. Um, maybe it's the electric fence piece that you don't have to have a markers on the edge of the yard for this to work and other ones you do although I'm pretty sure there wasn't anything like that for the ones I'd seen before so I don't know, it's, uh, I'm sure they'll sell some, but whether or not they can compete with who's already out there and whether or not the difference is good enough to make a difference, 
um, I guess remains to be seen. They raised quite a bit more than their original goal, although um, I didn't look at what the price of these things is, so I would imagine they're not cheap, and that's going to probably be a deterrent too for people uh, for widespread adoption of an automated mower versus, you know, the good old standard just walk behind it mower yourself with your own legs. So, interesting.